Obviously that was too high and sucked. Okay, kiddos, this is what we've got for you today. We've got some matchups going on. We're going with distance drivers today. So we're gonna do a lot of big arm hucking. And uh, heck, this is what we've got in line. These discs right here. What I've done is I've matched them up. I got a lot of new discs I wanna kind of compare, see how they fly compared to the discs that I know. Frame it as like a matchup. And I'm gonna chuck them. We're gonna follow those flights. If I don't like it, I'm gonna throw it again. I'm not just gonna stick with one throw because that's not fair, because I'm not that good to be that consistent. So I wanna figure out what is the best throw for each disc, and uh, we'll take a look at the results. So, let's start it off with Destroyers, why not? Halo Destroyer versus G-Star Destroyer. Halo Destroyer. Feels like it's just fighting me the whole way. I let go, it just feels like, ah, fight, fight, fight. Let's see if this guy will glide a little better. Awesome, awesome, way better, feels better, comes out better. Just love that one. All right, this, the destroyer battle. G-Star versus Halo. I give the win to the G-Star. Way more glidier. This one is a meat hook for me. Um, I don't know if I, it won't go in my bag. I mean, obviously good for headwinds. I would not use this in a headwind. It's too glidey. Couldn't trust it to get it inbounds. Uh, but for a fun and hucking, this is the one to use. And a super calm day, I can use this one on the field as well. This got 410, 410 feet, and 325 feet. There's a difference right there. And feel and all that good stuff. Winner. Okay, next up, we're gonna do our MVP Octane and our Ballista Pro Octane. That's it, that's the flight. That's why I love the Octane. It just comes out super straight. Doesn't really feel like it's fighting me. It just comes out straight. And then I get that guaranteed fade. I throw it into headwinds. Love that one. That was a perfect throw for that. Ballista Pro. All right, the Ballista Pro great example of that throw. I know I can get a little turn out of it in a headwind. It will also turn, but it won't turn and burn as long as the headwind's not too strong. So I can reliably use it in a headwind and I get more glide out of it than the Octane. Octane has that guaranteed fade. The Ballista Pro, I don't know how much it's going to turn on me. You know, wind conditions, arm throw and all that stuff. So it's a little riskier. Definitely gets more distance, more glide. All right, battle the Ballista Pro and the Octane. The winner is both, really. They're both in my bag. I use them for different situations in a headwind and a guaranteed straight and fade. I will use this. I know I won't quite get the distance. I got 375 out of this. Solid, super happy with that. And that's when I use this one. If I want a little more turn, I'll get the Ballista Pro out. I'll likely get a little more glide. This went to 415. Uh, so both in my bag. I love them both. They're staying. All right. Now we're going to do a Halo Wraith versus the Axiom Defy. All right. Halo Wraith. Cool. Got that one out pretty high. It actually got it over just a little bit to kind of fight because I know it's going to fade hard on me. So good throw for that. Defy. Phew. 
absolute perfect throw. That's how I want all my discs to come out. Um, it feels more comfortable in my hand than the Wraith. It just, maybe just because I've been using it a lot longer. Uh, but that is just solid right there. Okay, we got the 11 speed battle. I'm gonna have to go with the Defy. I, it just, it's more solid, more comfortable to me. Obviously this one's newer. I'm gonna keep throwing this one. Uh, I've had some really good rips on this uh, yesterday, so I feel good about it. But right now, winner is the Defy. And as far as distance, they both went 375 feet. Uh, I know I threw this one a little bit higher, um, but you know, they're quite similar. So good to know, good to have backups. Well, this one's just for funsies. They, they, are, they fly very different. I have a Grim X versus a Grim. So these are not matched well, but it's just funny to go head to head. So I'm gonna do that. This one's definitely overstable and this one will flex a lot. I'm gonna start with this one. Gonna get it high. <laughs> so floaty and turny. All right, Grim X. Woo! All right, that's perhaps the best throw I've ever had with that one. Uh, I kept it really pretty good and straight, only a slight turn, I think, and it actually glided. A lot of times it doesn't glide that well for me. Um, I must have got a little bit better rotation on that one. So, loving that throw. Okay, the matchup, the Grim X versus the Grim. The Grim X I got out to 370, the Grim about 350. Definitely got to work this one a lot. I got to get the angle right, I got to get the height right. Super fun to throw. But for being flippy, I don't think it's quite glidey enough. Uh, I have more, f I have flippier discs that are glidier um, as far as comfortable. And this one's working for me. I really thought this was going to win. Uh, but this one came through today and uh, it's not going to my bag. Neither of these are going to my bag. But this one was more solid and more comfortable and came out good every time. So going with Grim X. Okay, the next heads up will be. 10 speed Aztec, 10 speed musket. Musket. It's a great throw for that musket. It's, it's understable, so I gotta get it either on a baby hyzer or just go ahead, if I'm going for distance, go ahead and let that sucker turn. It got to stable out. Happy with that throw. Nice glide too. Put that on a hyzer flip so it didn't turn so much. Aztec. Let's And that's why the Aztec is in my bag. 10 speed, controllable, nice. It has a flex, but it stays mainly straight, stays in the fairway. Loving it. I, I call, it's like a fairway driver for me because I, I can trust, I can even trust it in some tunnel shots that I use. So that's good. The musket is definitely flippier. I gotta work it more. I gotta put more hyzer flip on it. And I know right now with my mechanics, when I put a little hyzer flip on it, I tend to air bounce it a little more to the side, so they they get a little more drag, so I gotta work on that. That was cool. I threw that one more for distance. The Aztec is very versatile. It is a 10 speed. I use it, like I said, for tunnel shots and stuff, and that's when I dial it down to 80% so I get a little less flex. When I try to put a little more pepper on it, I can get that sucker to float longer and do a turn. So it actually can do very good for distance as well. Okay, the 10 speed battle, Aztec versus the musket. Aztec in my bag. I've talked a lot about it. It's the winner. It's what I use on the course. Super fun to th throw. I feel very comfortable with it. I can do lots of things with it. I can try to let it turn more. I can keep it low and flat and straighter with mini flexes. 
very awesome. The musket, really fun to throw. Not ready for the course yet. I'm gonna keep throwing it in practice because it's just, it's a cool disc. And just to add the distances, I was getting 350 with this pretty consistently and uh, 360 with this. But I, I know it can bomb. Yesterday I threw it 444 feet uh, with a tiny bit of uh, tailwind and a little bit downhill. So if you get it just right, it can glide a super long way. Uh, for practical uses, 360's right there. All right, the next battle. My trusted Enigma versus a turn. Now I've had a G-Star turn, but this is a Halo turn. We'll see how different it is. Halo turn. Woo! Nice, nice, I like that. Got a little uplift, there's no wind out here, none. Enigma. Perfect throw, super straight, and mini flex, but lands straight where I'm aiming. All right, did the halo turn dethrone my Enigma? Nah, Enigma is so solid. It's it's awesome in zero wind and a little bit of tailwind. I know what it can do. Here comes the truck. All right, as I was saying, trust it. No wind, little bit of tailwind, very good. Headwind, I wouldn't use it. No, I wouldn't, uh, but it feels good. I know what it can do. The turn, not too bad. Distance wise, 390 feet today versus 370. Um, really good flight, so I got a really good flight out of it. Nice little baby flex like I like, and I kept it nice and low, stable, sturdy. Actually might work a little better in a headwind than the Enigma would, but the Enigma stays in my bag and I would probably use something else if a headwind came up. And I probably wouldn't use this yet. But, I'm gonna keep throwing it. All right, we got another battle. It's the Streamline Trace versus the Latitude 64 Grace. Brand new, floats like a dream. This used to be a go-to for me, so we'll see. They're both uh, minus one, two as well, so. Interesting to see how these will turn out. Let's do it. Trace first. That was perfect. That was a great smash. That's the distance, the height I like on those. Perfect, I don't wanna get them too high. Perfect throw. All right, gotta, gotta beat that. Good luck, Grace. Okay, I think it might have done it. That thing sails like a dream. I can just, you just hear it. Shh. Oh man, wonderful disc, wonderful disc. A little bit more turn on that grace. That's what I noticed yesterday. It gets quite a bit of turn. Stables up though, nice. Okay, it's 11 speed Trace versus Grace. Uh, Trace came out great, love it. It's still an awesome disc. But man, it got dethroned by the Grace. Grace kicked out to 410, 385 uh, for the Trace. So distance wise, accuracy wise, they're all both pretty good. This one I know turns a little bit more, uh, but it'll come back there if I get the angle and the height right. It'll come in, it's been very solid on most of my throws. I'm already comfortable with it. So I gotta work with it some more. It might get into my bag. Uh, I just gotta build up that confidence and put some reps on it. Exciting. Okay, now we're getting into the big guns. We have a Shrike, which is a 13 speed. And I have a Pharaoh, which I'm thinking it's a 12 speed, might be 13 as well. I know it's this got a six glide, and this has a six glide, but it's also halo plastic, which I know means more over stable. And that's what I kind of wanted, because it's a minus two turn. Uh, I thought minus two with an over stable mold, might be just right there at that minus one, two that I really like. So 
let's see this is good this is in my bag already because i love chucking this one the gummy pharaoh That was perfect. Super awesome. Perfect. You might not have been able to see it. It's a blue disc. I know those are hard to track. Awesome. That's all I got to say. That was awesome. Let's see if the Shrike can match. Woo! That was pretty good. I'd say that was very similar to the Pharaoh line that I threw. It felt like it was a little bit faster but a little less glidier that's just what it felt like we'll see what the distance comes up they might be quite similar very nice very nice very happy with that shrike i think my plan worked buying that overstable mold getting it to that minus one two that's kind of what it feels like that's what it looks like stoked Okay, we got the big speed, the Shrike, Halo Shrike, and the Gummy Pharaoh. There's Mr. Gummy. So, uh, Pharaoh, I throw a lot, love it, controlled, has super good turn, but it does stable up on me, unless it's in a headwind, I wouldn't do that. Uh, the Shrike could get there, it's, it's pretty dang good. I think it's good and comparable. I'm very happy with the feel. I have no problem with this. If I needed to put it in my bag, I feel like I could use it already. Um, we definitely want to test it out in some headwinds and see what this can do. Pharaoh was at 390 feet today and 375 feet for the Shrike. Uh, landed 375 almost every time. So that's pretty dang consistent and pretty awesome. But this one still wins, stays in my bag. Okay, the final matchup. This one's gonna be a crazy one. I have the Millennium Falcon. It is a 13 speed, minus two, two. And I have the Axiom Excite. Nice watermelon color there. Um, let's see, this is a 14.5 speed. Um, wow, minus two, two. So these will never be in my bag. Um, these are for fun, for hucking. So I'm just gonna throw them, I'm gonna get them a little higher than I normally do, and I'm gonna let them turn and do the thing. They're very sensitive to height, sensitive to the release angle. Uh, it'll either get me 300 feet or 450 feet. <laughs> it just depends upon my throw. So very touchy. Let's start with the Millennium Falcon. That was one of those no-gooders. All right, we'll try again. The Excite. None on both. Millennium Falcon. Yay, got some flight out of that. The Excite, we're still waiting for that perfect throw. Yep, that was it. Hope you got that one. All right, here's where the Excite landed. Get a reading on it. Four twenty. Woohoo! That was exciting. So awesome. So the final compare is the Excite to the Falcon. Uh, the Falcon got three seventy-five. It's very flippy. Like I said, both of these are crazy to throw. You got to get them just right, or they'll just burn you. Um, so I definitely got the best throw with this. And it's newer and it's more exciting for me and it has the word excite in it. Uh, so this is my winner uh, and it's cool watermelon color. So anyway, super fun huckathon here. Uh, nice battles, you got my winners. Let's do it again. We're gonna come back with the fairway drivers next time.
bonus round, Grace. Take that. Oh man. Ooh, put some pepper in that one. That's gonna be fun. That's my max distance. I guarantee it right now. I mean, it continued to turn and it barely stabled up at the end. I'm sure you didn't see it because it was blue. Sorry. I, just, I love blue discs because I can find them in grass and I can find them in dirt. But I know they don't film very well. Okay, the bomb of the day goes to the Grace. It was 425 feet. Uh, it was a little offline. Like I said, I was going more for max distance, so I didn't keep it online. It did turn and stay turned most of the way. But there you go. That's what you get when you try to put some extra mustard on it. Congrats.